Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. I think it's worth only to focus here on the shorter time frame. Um, looking at the bigger picture, nothing happened. Tomorrow we can take a look at the daily chart again. In my first video earlier today, I took a look at the daily chart as well. So I've tried to simplify the chart a little bit. Um, I think it's worth talking about the two main scenarios here and the two support areas and that this is pretty ambiguous, the structure here. Not bearish, but it just, it's a, you know, I've got a few ideas how this could be labeled in different ways. Um, so, I th you know, I think we just need a little bit more patience to really let it, let it get, you know, so we get clarity, really. Um, but what's, what's at the moment the, the main count I'm following? So I'm following a, wa a wave count in which an Elliott wave triangle indeed completed here on Tuesday. Okay, so we have um, a third wave top after the price bottomed on the 1st of May. Okay, then we had a wave one to the upside, wave two down. That was the low on the 10th of May where the price bottomed around 60.3K. Then a third wave rally to the upside, topped here around 72K. And this here is sort of a fourth wave, Elliott wave triangle, A, B, C, D, E. And then from here, a possible fifth wave to the upside. Um, one way of, of measuring target, for example, one target points towards 76 and a half K, for example. Yeah, it's just the next milestone. And um, I mean, it can go higher. No problem. Yeah, it's just that it's a bit ambiguous what happened here due to this triangle. I've thought about another idea. Um, what, one idea as well would be to put the fourth wave here, but it would be quite shallow compared to the two. And then the question would come up, what is this? And I think we'd be dealing with um, like a one, two, like three, four, five triangle or some, uh, not triangle, but ending diagonal. But the problem is that this entire move, the proportions don't really fully align. I like the idea of a triangle because this fourth wave works well with the wave two in terms of proportions. It's just that when we're dealing really with a triangle, um, this, this the move up should have been a bit faster more rapid you know swift move up but you know it's all valid and and all okay so when do i have to reinterpret the chart so at the moment i've slightly shifted the upper support area this is the support area that is now really actively supporting the price um in case we get a deeper pullback here in a b wave then this would be the area that is like likely going to be tested and then we get um, another move up in wave C. So just need to explain what's going on here. So if we say wave four bottomed circle four on Tuesday, then this here could now be the A wave to the upside. Well, or a wave one. Maybe I should add that because it created a little bit of confusion. People are asked, okay, why suddenly a three, four, five? So this could also be a one and the pullback could be a wave two instead of a B wave. It's just because it's not entirely clear to me if I'm counting that move up as an impulse or as a diagonal, yeah? So the move up then could be wave C or three. And if we get another four, five, well, then we have a five wave move. So we can at least watch for it, okay? We can at least watch for that last four, five pattern. Bottom line is I'm, I'm just on the side of caution. I want to highlight here, okay, it could be the entire move from the 1st of May low could be a diagonal pattern, which means the fifth wave could simply be an ABC structure, which means this is support between 69,250 and 70,533. As, as long as the price holds above 69,250, the overall focus can be obviously on higher. And we could now start a B wave pullback at some point and then a C wave rally. And this could take us to a new all-time high. I mentioned that in the last video, but it depends really on the bulls if they can hold the upper support area. And the C wave rally could then send us to, again, it depends on where the B wave might bottom. If it really is just a, an ABC structure, um, then the next move up should send us at least to the 100% extension. Depends on where we find a low, right? But that's really only the minimum then um, let's say it comes down to the 61.8 retracement and we talk about 73k for that C wave but if it's going above it it could still be a C wave they can extend 
but it also opens the door for a third wave, for example, yeah? And then a fourth and a fifth can send us to 76 and a half K. How exactly the microstructure will unfold, we will see. I will definitely at any point give you the relevant support levels. Now, what is the blue count? As I said before, you know that count. Um, that just indicates that we have a B wave top here, possibly in place at some point, but I can only confirm that if we break below the upper support region. So if we break below 69,250, I will first watch for the blue count, which could mean, okay, maybe wave four never bottomed here on Tuesday. Maybe it's still unfolding and we could test the lower support area again. It's between 64,370 and 67,160. But then we could re-tempt another ready from there, wouldn't be a problem. Only below 64,370, we have a more substantial top in place. That's currently not preferred. Yeah, so that means in the very short term, we need to be watching the micro support area, the upper support area. Um, and then we can watch for higher prices into this area between 73K and 75.1K. As long as this support area is holding, I prefer further upside until I see a break of support. Then we have to adjust and yeah, adapt. That's my update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.